Joseph's Hospital expanding its visitor hours and allowing more people to see their loved ones. News Channel Lines Callahan Marshall spoke with the chief clinical officer at the hospital who says this is beneficial for both patients and staff. It's been two years of patients seeing their loved ones for just four hours a day and one person. So visitation now in the hospital is going to be from 10 a.m. to 6 p.m. every day. And we are going to allow two people uh, per patient per day to visit. Still one person allowed in the room at a time. But Dr. Falcone says they're trying to do what's best for the patient while also making sure the staff can do their job. But the visitor also plays an important role. I think it also helps to have a second set of ears and eyes available to hear what's being discussed with the patients so that when they do leave the hospital, uh, someone else in their family may be able to help uh, identify things that need to be done, uh, appointments that need to be made, medications that might have changed, all those sorts of things that family members are going to be very helpful with. Dr. Falcone says COVID isn't as significant, so they felt comfortable allowing more people in the hospital. With fall just around the corner, Dr. Falcone says he is a little concerned about COVID, so he's recommending you get protected. We're probably going to see a, uh, an uptick at some point in the numbers of patients that were getting admitted to the hospital for COVID. Um, and so again, I would advise people uh, to consider getting vaccinated if you're not already, and if you have been, to consider obtaining the bivalent vaccine, which is now available, uh, which will cover not only the original strain, but also the, the newer, more transmissible BA4 and BA5 strains of COVID. Putting patients first. In Syracuse, Callahan Marshall, News Channel 9. And we've reached out to Upstate. They tell us no recent changes have been made to their visiting hours, and we are still waiting for an answer from Krauss Hospital.